Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome back to Walter Originals for you. This is everything in between for Star vs. the Force of Evil, and uh, I will be doing more of these if I miss out on any um, episodes or uh, I feel it's necessary to do like these kind of like small recaps or whatever. Uh, I think I'm gonna, you know, keep my season recaps within this originals as well. Uh, so if you guys want me to do any season recaps, it will be under the Walter Original Brands because it's my idea. Um, <clears throat> so, Star vs. the Force of Evil, I missed out on two episodes, I think, uh, 6 and 7. I did 8 with you guys. I'm so sorry that I said 14 because <laughs> I forgot uh, that it was two parts. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's about like... Um, two episodes I've been out on and uh, for me you know it's, it's very interesting uh, and I want to bring up one thing in particular that I relate to the most I, mean, I know you guys are sick of the story but um, yeah uh, Marco uh, or Marco being dumped by uh, Jackie is really something where I feel so heart-wrenched uh, for Marco because I'm just like well you know he got the girl that he liked and this is such a shame that his focus kind of shifted towards star because star did confess to him i remember that and uh you know now he's in muni and uh they're just uh, you know his heart is definitely with her like don't get me wrong like that's that's one of the things when i always see him with star you know he's always Therefore, you know, it's always uh, you know, happy to see her, blah blah blah, and um, you know, it's one, it's just one of those things. If you have chemistry, you can't really stop it, and that's one of those things where I, I, where which I said about like Tom and Star as well, like you know, during the end of the first one, this uh, episode six, um, um, they were dancing, and you know, they were dancing and dancing, dance, then you know, ah. Uh, Tom did a fiery thingy and then uh, Star did the cloud thing and they like floated together and it was really cool to see, it was really nice to see and I was really really excited, like super super enchanted by that but I was just like yep it's chemistry, it's what Lily Aldrin said in uh, How I Met Your Mother, you know if you have chemistry together it's really hard to break that because you know you're always in sync you know what the other person wants you know what the other person thinks and it's also because you've spent time with that other person so you definitely understand their mindset already so it's just one of those things um I don't really want to get into the technicals of this episode because like these episodes is you know really fun and I, I I do kind of just take stuff and you know say okay it's it's popcorn stuff I I do enjoy popcorn stuff at, at, at points, but it's also one of those things where I do understand where the feelers are coming from as well because there is one part where I really really enjoyed which is the the part where um, Tom is getting demon sized and I was like oh that is that is really interesting and it's of course uh, more you know developed uh, sight into. Uh, a star psyche because I think you know she's been away from Marco for a while as well and now her you know focus has reverted back to Tom because Tom is trying to improve himself you know be a better person uh, that, than what he was and you know his way of dealing with that is by uh, you know removing the demon from within but you know he can't really because you know there's a lot of demons um, and you know Star is right when she says, you know, if you want to change, that's the already the first step because you know that you are not perfect and you want to change. You are willing to accept criticism and grow as a person, and that's really something where I'm like, yes, this is good to teach children, um, but the relationship one. I do not really know because this is kind of becoming the love triangle thing which you know Doug Walker doesn't really like as well and I can definitely understand that even though I was kind of in that situation and I kind of defended Legend of Korra as well but Legend of Korra as well I defended more for Bolin because I felt really bad for Bolin and I really felt like he should have gotten Korra but Korra was just like uh you know she was just really the eye candy girl like she liked the she liked the other guy because of 
she like Mako because of his looks and whatever and I'm like okay okay all power to you but if someone goes out of the way to try to get you let's pay attention to the guy you know don't shoot him down willy nilly and uh, like in the middle of the street but you know just do it in private with, with alone with him or something I don't know it's just one of those things where I felt really bad for bowling um but that's just one of those things uh bringing it back to star versus the forces of evil though it's again not really doing the love triangle thing but it's coming down to that because you know star kind of is still into tom because you know feelings can never go away that's what i always tell my friends like you know if i ever see the girl that I liked last time, I will never be able to say hello to her again. Cause like I'm, I'm, just like whatever. Once I say hello, it's just like oh, you, you got me again. Cause I think I'm one of those persons who can't really be friends with their exes as well. So there you go. Cause like feelings will never leave me. Like if I feel really strongly towards something, it will never really leave me. Like my hate towards Pan, like my hate towards The Fallen 2016 and 2015, whatever. And also my hate towards Okja. But you know, it's, it's never gonna go away. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's just one of those things as well. Like, you know, a lot of people ask me like, why, why do you still, why don't you want to talk to her? You know, I'm just like, I can but through electronic meaning like not face to face like so she did contact me once you know she was like can you help me with something I was like yeah sure what do you need you know just because she was like can you find me a cater because she was like preparing for an uh, event whatever but I was like okay like we have uh, caterers in our uni but it's only one like like you know there's another one but it's the cafeteria it's the union's cafeteria so i don't know how you're gonna work around that but the other one is kind of like an independent one that is just in the uni because you know they want to make money off of the university as well and also the you know some of the profits go to the university as well so technically they are under the uni um and i was just like yeah sure uh but you know if i were to you know if i were to bump into her and she would be asking me for help i don't think i would even be able to say a sentence out because i was like nodding and just, you know just like it, it's just it's just gonna be awkward for me it's is all i'm saying you know so it's one of those things as well i definitely felt that from star but more of the first time i was you know i was just you know within an earshot of her i think it was more of the heart beating faster a bit dun, 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 uh you know seeing her again or seeing him again in this case tom and uh yeah i, I definitely understood the club snob even though i was like fuck is that but it's just the mind game uh basically you know so it's like another person is like yo i want to dance with not you but her you know say like there's like stupid little things to annoy the other person but i think you know ponyhead did make it worse so technically it is ponyheads um you know playing into that as well uh, but I can definitely see as well she still does like Marco so I hope we get a little more from that because now you know there's such a thing like there's more to open up the the door to say yes this is something we can do and this is something we can expand on and I I feel so bad because I'm just like yeah I kind of knew this was gonna happen because like Jackie is definitely gonna have to break up with Marco so to let him go towards Star because one of the most powerful lies for me was that you know Marco was like but you were you're my best friend and uh, uh, Jackie's just like you know I'm not and I'm just like oh frick she knew all along but i think you know she was like okay this guy is still trying for me so i think you know it's definitely understandable um 
and you know relationships are are never easy it's hardly easy and i think for them to to reach this far is pretty impressive like three months is pretty impressive for high schoolers and you know it's nothing anything against high school but you know things get more complicated after high school you know what i'm saying uh there's more fish in the sea so to say there's more uh temptations to stray away from your uh, relationship and you know it's, it's just one of those things where you're caught between a rock and a hard place i hate using that freaking uh proverb but it's it's the right proverb to use you know the right saying to use in this case um is i wish things would have turned out differently i wish that they could have done something better with it but you know again there's no real good way to end a relationship um but yeah no shit happens life happens um but overall i i really feel like you know star is a person where she gets what she wants and it is not really the small bad thing but you know it's it's one of those things that i can see like you know she she does have her her point of view you know she's very she's very independent she's very uh she she but you know she's still a girl so you know she's prone to to love she's prone to fall in love and of course guys too we fall in love too girls just say um we're not all animals um but yeah i definitely think you know it's sweet to see kind of like a blooming friendship turned into something else but also <sighs> it's hard for me to defend it because i'm definitely more towards the um, star and marco getting together because i'm one of those people who are like yeah if you get together with your you know your best friend and in this case of course it's the be uh, opposite sex you know it's the best kind of relationship for me because you, you already know what their tics are you know what their you know what when's their birthdays when's their you know when's whatever everything is out on the table so i mean you know that's just the best for me but there's also something to be said about you know blooming relationships and you know just discovering each other you know both emotionally and of course um, you know their likes dislike personality per se so there you go um anyway i i still stand by that you know star versus the force of evil is something where i didn't expect to be continuing watching uh but after a lot a lot, a lot of episodes i think you know i can say i i, I am a pretty uh, i am a pretty good fan but you know this is one of those middle of the road fans um i don't really go yeah it's not it's not people, but i am pretty you know psyched not that psyched but you know just uh, oh okay there's a new episode let's go watch it kind of uh, people um i guess because i have other stuff as well <laughs> nowadays uh, it's like uh, just really 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 flattened by the ac academic system right now um but yet yeah, guys uh i really like this episode I, I these two episodes i definitely think uh eclipse of coming back was one of the bigger you know bigger storylines here obviously i was like oh that's eclipse all right and of course you know star had her point of like well how do we even know if um eclipse is really evil because like she's has, she hasn't seen any anything that would indicate that and of course you know uh moon did bring up some good points but also star countered with well 
you see, she got rid of Toffee. So there you go. She got rid of the ultimate evil. So how can she be evil herself when she's removing evil? Unless she is the like the boss evil. Um, but yeah, so far, you know, she seems like a cool woman. Uh, she seems like a cool uh, witch, magician, enchantress, whatever you want to call it. And uh, apparently, Glossaric is just like a little dog uh, slash baby. <laughs> so that's really something where I'm like, well, well, I didn't expect this to happen, but it's certainly interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't have much bad things to say, but I'm just. I just really wanted to talk about the relationship dynamic between Star and, and Marco and, and highlight that, you know, there is gonna be a point in our lives where we have to choose, you know, it's it's one of those laws of nature, what, you know, is the law of economics as well, you know, there's always scarcity um, and there's always gonna be t too uh, too much of something and also too little of something at the point where you're just like okay I have to choose so I definitely think that's where they want to go with Star as well but I hope they don't do it too obviously hopefully it's just one more confession and that's that's it I don't I don't really want the fighting between Tom and, and Marco I think you know Tom as well he's just, he's pretty over Star uh, but he did hold Star's hand so I'm just and maybe he did still does like Star a little bit, you know. And as I said earlier as well, you know, you can't really get rid of those feelings, so hey. I just I'm just really rooting for Marco right now because you know, even though he got his heart broken because of Jackie I hope that he can still get started. Like I know that's such a dick thing to say, but again, you know, I'm just really one of those guys who root for these type of relationships. But if you guys disagree, then I, you know, to each their own. Because I really love Star's chemistry with Marco, and obviously there's chemistry with uh, Tom as well. But you know. Tom is the hothead, you know, he's, he's, he's not really the, um, he's not really the toxic, but I can see that, you know, he's the trier, but, you know, he, he can never really get rid of his anger issues unless it's like, one day he's just like, okay, I got rid of all my issues, will you take me back, stuff? I don't think that's gonna happen, but you never know. Anyway, that's about it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this everything in between. Um, obviously it's just two episodes in this one and not, you know, the whole eight like Stranger Things. But if you like this concept, please leave a like in this video to let me know. And also please subscribe to me for more videos like these. And remember to ring the bell for so that you can be notified for future videos and also first hand news from me. And also because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. So just be aware of that. And I love you all. And I will see you guys in the next video. And please share my videos if you can. To spread me across the universe. And the universe is the internet of course. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.